Good morning, you guys. Welcome to the first vlog of 2023. Happy New Year. I just went and grabbed my robe because I'm a little bit cold. I wanted to sit and chat with you guys. I feel like there is so much that I want to catch you up on because I haven't vlogged for two full weeks, which is so crazy. I'm pretty sure that is the longest break that I've ever taken off of YouTube, but it was truly so good for me and my mental health. The last thing that I told you guys I was doing was going to Seattle and I went on my trip and I had so much fun. I don't know if you kept up on Instagram, but I got to bring Brandon for the first time and show him my hometown. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Haley, but I go by Baby Hey. I grew up in Seattle, but I live in Vegas now. I was so happy that Brandon got to see like my high school and my college and my sorority. Like we drove past everything and then he got to meet a bunch of my family that he's never met before and I got to show him like around Seattle. We went to Pike Place Market. We also took a ferry and went to Kingston. We went to the gym a few times. We went to the Starbucks Roastery. He got to meet Lauren and Sienna and we went to my cousin Taylor's wedding which was so beautiful. So overall I just had an amazing trip and I'm so happy that I got to give like a hundred percent of myself and be fully present during that time. Got back on on January 1st like late that night. I kind of crashed on January 2nd if I'm being completely honest. I know a lot of people start the new year and they have like these resets and all this stuff but for me last week I was so exhausted. So exhausted. Last week I feel like I actually got to rest just catch up on sleep. I took Christmas down which was so good but also so annoying. I have so much Christmas decor and I had to take down my tree so I'm just like glad that I got all of that put away I know a lot of people have like goals and resolutions and stuff for the new year the lighting keeps changing really weird which I will probably dive into in another video. One thing that I did want to talk about is my word of the year. That's something that I've just like thought about that I really want to prioritize this year that is super important to me and it is peace. Last month was just so chaotic and I was pretty overwhelmed and stressed out and it was just like a lot for me. I just really want to like take a step back and figure out like all the things that bring me peace and joy and just like make me feel a little bit more calm. Having like a really good morning routine helps me feel a lot more at peace and I like having more time in my day. When I'm not rushed, I obviously feel like a lot more peaceful. And so lately I've been getting up a lot earlier. This morning I got up at 5.30 and it is just so nice to have a really good morning. Right now it is nice o'clock so I've been up for quite a while already and I've got some cleaning done and just kind of like a bunch of stuff so I've been really loving a good morning routine which I can tell you guys like more step by step later Brandon made me a new workout routine which I did all last week and then yesterday and I've been loving my workouts lately like they've been so good one thing I realized is I need to have like a gym 
gym membership to go to an actual gym for leg days especially i love the equipment at an actual gym so i went to eos um with brandon last week and then we also went yesterday when i was doing my leg day workouts i was debating on if i wanted to get a membership there but i'm kind of feeling like i want to try a different gym like maybe something with like a sauna that's a little bit nicer i just want to try a couple other gyms before i commit to a membership today i'm going to get a day pass or week pass or whatever they have at lifetime and then there's one other gym that i wanted to try i'm also going to be going to true fusion but i just decided that i'm going to be going there less currently my routine is four workouts in the gym and then one workout is like going to hot pilates i just want to have a gym membership that i can go to more regularly because i'm going to be doing that more so if i pay more money for that then i can justify it because i'll actually be going a lot and then i'll probably not do like a full membership at um true fusion and i'll just pay for like a few classes a month i also have been doing the five minute journal this journal is like so good for me to notice the things that i'm grateful for and i feel like it helps you appreciate the small things in your life it also helps you to recognize like how to make your days better and things that you want to include um on a day-to-day -day basis and so i just really love this journal it's been making me feel a lot happier and more positive i feel like i have been rambling for so long so i'll just like try to keep filling you guys in on everything as it comes to me but one thing that i am so freaking excited about is my stanley cup you guys i hopped on the stanley cup so late i actually got this for christmas as one of my christmas presents and i am literally obsessed with it i've been drinking so much more water because of it i really like the fact that it stays cold and also has a straw i drink more water when i drink out of a straw also just like having a new cup that's like cute is fun and it just like makes me excited about drinking water this is actually new i got this from skims and this was another christmas present i got so many good christmas presents this year and i'm just like so grateful for everything that everyone got me i'm gonna change out of this i'm gonna get ready for the gym and then we're gonna head over to lifetime so i can check it out get my workout done and see if i want to get a membership there but anyways i'm so excited for the new year for everything that's to come i am so happy that you guys are are here and i appreciate you being patient and waiting for the vlogs i've had so many of you guys dming me and messaging me and i'm just like so thankful for you guys it's been really rainy and gloomy the last couple of days so i definitely want to wear leggings instead of shorts so i'm gonna do this brown line set and then probably like a puffer or a fuzzy jacket i love this lounge set that i got though it is so cozy I got the top in an extra small and then the pants are also in extra small but I could have gotten a smaller size in these. Like I said it was a gift so I didn't get to pick the size but I think it's like really cozy and this is my barefoot dreams robe so I've been comfy. I have my slippers on. I'm just making a quick oatmeal. I haven't had coffee yet today so I'm just gonna make a little one and bring it in the car with me i've been trying not to drink coffee like first thing when i wake up in the morning just because i don't want my body to like be dependent on it and i feel like this year especially i'm just like trying to do things to better myself and be um like really healthy and just like feel super good anything that i can do i've just been um trying to be mindful of it but i'm going to um bring this coffee in the car i'll eat my oatmeal before i leave i just added a little bit of cinnamon to it and i am so excited to go check out the gym and see if i like it i think that it will be so nice for me to just have like a gym membership the other gym that i'm going to check out is in Tivoli Village so if I end up wanting to go somewhere else because like I don't like it or whatever then I will um, check that one out later this week
I forgot to show you guys. This is the milk that I've been drinking. It's the Three Trees one. And this is their vanilla bean almond milk. It's the only one that they had. It's unsweetened, but I actually really like it. And it gets so foamy. So I've been having this one and then I also buy their like oat milk one. Really minimal ingredients. There's just filtered water, organic almonds, organic vanilla extract, and organic vanilla beans. I just finished putting everything in here but I have the headphones over here. Put my purse and then on this side I have like towel and makeup wipes, um, hand sanitizer, deodorant, and then like all the little stuff in this small pocket. Pocket right here if you want to put stuff in here. So there's definitely like a lot of storage in this bag. You can attach your keys right here and then there's another pocket. So it's a little bit pricey for a bag, but I definitely think that it's worth it. Just wanted you guys to see the full gym fit. So the puffer is from Urban. I got this last year. And then my Lulu set. And I'm wearing my Air Max 270s, which are still one of my favorite workout shoes but i need a new pair for leg days i just need a flat shoe and i haven't really been sure on what to get so if you guys have any suggestions please comment them because i'm really looking to get a new pair soon i was kind of debating on getting the metcons so maybe those but i don't know i just need a shoe for leg days these ones are super good for like upper body and for walking they're really comfy and i like still love them a lot but i I just like want to get some more workout shoes this year also really quick i'm trying to get out the door but i wanted to show you guys i got this new hand lotion from necessaire and i was gonna put this in my gym bag i just was reminded because i was looking at my hands they've been so dry because it's so cold out and i need lotion so i'm gonna throw this in here but I love everything from Necessaire. So when I saw they had like a hand cream, I was like, okay, I 100% need to buy that. Feels so nice. And I also just like love the bottles that they have. It's like so aesthetic. So throw this in here. And now I am actually ready. I got my drinks, I got my bag. And we are off to the gym. I just finished the workout and it is literally pouring outside. It's raining so hard, but I just bought this protein drink on my way out. They have like a cafe in here. This is the OWYN 20 grams of plant-based protein drink and I got it in the smooth vanilla, but I wanted to just have some protein after that. It was a super good workout. I was kind of nervous when I first got inside. There's a lot of people. That is one thing that I'm not sure if I like about this gym that I want to compare to the other one that I go to is that there is a ton of members and you can just tell by how many people are on the machines and how many people are like walking in and out of the doors. So I want to see um, just kind of the difference but I was definitely a little nervous going into it and that is totally normal to feel that way when you go to a new gym or you go to a new workout class but I think it's really important to push yourself and get out of your comfort zone for me whenever I like challenge myself I always feel more confident and it just really boosted my confidence going into that gym knowing that like I can walk into a place where I've never been and I can complete and do like a really solid workout and feel good about it so I'm definitely proud of myself for going today and checking it out they had um, a spa in there so you can get like massages and facials they can do like your nails and you can get your hair done and then they have um, a couple of different pools they have indoor and outdoor and then they have a steam room in the girls locker room and then they also have a sauna which is out by the pool and I didn't love that because it's like a co-ed sauna where you can like watch everyone swimming so I don't know that, that wasn't my favorite part of it so I ended up like not going into the sauna just because 
when I walked past it, there was a lot of people in there. I don't know. I have to think about it for like if I want to actually get a membership here because it is kind of expensive. I can definitely justify like spending a decent amount of money on a gym membership just because I know for a fact that like I'm going to be going all the time and it's really good for my mental health and obviously my physical health. And they actually do offer classes here. I went up to the third floor and they have like a cycle studio, they have a yoga studio, they have Pilates, and they have like reformer Pilates. I am definitely like concerned considering the membership but I want to check out the other gym before I make like my final decision the workout I did today was a push day and it was all upper body focused but I did film it for TikTok it can be a little bit more discreet when you're filming on your phone as opposed to like whipping out the entire vlog camera and like having my tripod and stuff so I was able to film it for that and I'll like put the whole workout in the description box for you guys in case you want to do the exact workout I want to go to Costco today and I was thinking originally of going home and getting ready and then going to Costco but since it's like pouring down rain and it's like basically across the street I'm just gonna go to Costco now because I don't care if this outfit gets like really rained on and stuff and then I can go home and like shower and get ready for the day and like put all that away so I am gonna head over there right now but before I leave I just wanted to say really quick that I know it can be so scary going to a new gym or trying a different workout class but I really encourage you guys to push yourself doing your workouts will just overall make you feel so good like both physically and mentally and for me I always feel like so much happier when I leave the gym I think a couple of tips that I have for you guys is well one just remember that like if you go to a new gym or a new workout class no one in there is paying attention to you like they don't care what you're doing they care about themselves and their own workout even if they did care about what you're doing they don't know that it's your first time and they don't know that you've never been there before so I just challenge you to try like new things but just go in there with confidence and just feel like you own it because at the end of the day like it's about you and you have to do what's like best for your yourself and not really care about what other people think or if anyone else is like looking at you and for me like I walked in and I started on the treadmill just so that I could kind of scope out the gym and see where the equipment was also helps to like put on some music or watch a vlog so you can just kind of get comfortable with the space and like your surroundings and then you can just go and do the machines but you should walk in with a plan like know what exercises you're going to be doing and what workout you're going to be doing so that you don't feel like overwhelmed by that too it can definitely be hard but it is so worth it and it will make you feel amazing hopefully this rain like lets up because i don't want to be um in the pouring rain putting my costco stuff in the trunk so anyways we're going there now thankfully i have my parking garage so that when i get home i can unload in there I just pulled up and there is such a pretty rainbow. Oh my gosh, I love that. But I'm about to park. There's actually a decent amount of parking because no one probably wants to go to Costco in the rain. I need to wash my car so bad, like the entire inside of it is all dirty. So that's on my list to do. I wrote a list and I think I got everything that I need. So I'm gonna go check out and then I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. I just conquered Costco in the pouring rain and I feel very productive today. Like if I can do that today, I can do anything. I have been trying to shop at Costco more because it's just like so much cheaper and I want to be better about saving money on stuff like groceries and just like day to day things that I can be like better about. I've been buying like chicken here and turkey bacon and some of my produce like strawberries and blueberries and raspberries and things like that just because I do end up eating all of it and also Brandon and I have been eating a lot of meals together and so we're both eating it and it doesn't go bad like it doesn't expire before the date so just been a lot better to shop at Costco and I'm trying to like have a weekly or every other week Costco trip hello 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 how's my girl 
good. We've called each other back and forth so many times today. <laughs> I laughed. <laughs> it took me three trips, but I finally got everything up from Costco. So first off, I got this turkey bacon, and this one is incredible. I don't know why, but I just love the taste of it so much. It's very similar to the Applegate one in my opinion, but way cheaper because you actually get like three or four packs of like 10 pieces in each pack. I bought this last week. Brandon and I already ate all of it and I needed to get more. And then I got some raspberries and some strawberries. I wanted to get blueberries. They had it last week, but they didn't have it today. So I'll just get those at the regular grocery store. And I do go through a lot of fruits so it's fine for me to buy it here. And then I bought some ground turkey, some chicken, a big bag of organic dried mangoes. These ones are the unsweetened and unsulfured one. They're just like completely plain. And then I also bought a box of the almond flour Simple Mills crackers. These ones are in the ground sea salt and you either get like two or three boxes, but again, way cheaper because it was like $7 for this whole pack. And then I also bought this, which is the mush ready to eat oats. I I thought that these might be nice when like I'm busy and on the go, but they're really simple ingredients. There's no added sugar, no um, dairy or gluten, and there's like five to six grams of protein in each, and also four to five grams of fiber. And then I bought a pack of razors and some garbage bags, also some laundry, I mean not laundry, um, dish dishwasher detergent. I was gonna get laundry, but they didn't have the one that I like. And then um, a thing of toilet paper. But I actually want to clean out my fridge first and like wipe everything down. I didn't really show you guys the before because it was so bad. I was honestly kind of embarrassed, but I wiped out everything in the fridge and I personally just like taking everything out and starting over. So I cleaned it all and then put everything back and I still need to go to the regular grocery store. My fridge isn't fully stocked, but I definitely have enough for um, the next couple of days. I just like love having a clean fridge. I also threw away anything that was expired. It looks super good and I'm just very glad that I got that done today. I need to pick something to wear and it's a really gloomy and just like rainy cloudy day. So obviously I'm gonna do a sweatsuit set and I just washed these so I have them all right here. I think I'm gonna wear the black one. I actually bought my mom an Aritzia set for Christmas and she put it on right when she got it and she's obsessed with it and it looked so cute on her. I got it in the taupe color, which I really like that one. I did get her like the mega cargo sweats and then a crew neck and she loved it so much that she ordered the black one. So we're matching. I washed some laundry, so I just need to, wait, actually I don't want to dry that. <laughs> I need to dry the rest of it though. I don't like drying my sweatsuit sets just because I don't want them to shrink. Like I like the size that they are, but I think everything else in here I can dry.
currently 8 12 and i'm just about to get into bed i'm so tired and i've had a really productive day so i'm ready to lay down i grabbed my notebook so that i can plan the day for tomorrow and then my five minute journal i've been liking planning the night before just so that i have somewhat of an idea of what i want to get accomplished the next day i feel like i go to bed um just like more peaceful when my day is planned because then i'm not worried about what i need to do or i'm not like thinking about any of it so i just feel like this is really helpful for me and i just write it down in a random journal and then in the morning I will basically rewrite everything that I wrote in here in my planner and do time blocks. That helps me just to like get more done in my day because then I know how much time I have for everything. I need to plan out the day and then I'm kind of just like unwinding and getting ready to go to sleep. I've been going to bed pretty early lately just because I know for me I need like around 8 hours of sleep to function. So if I am asleep by 9, then I get like enough sleep for my body to wake up around 5 or 5.30. I've really just been liking earlier mornings and then like going to bed earlier. So this has been a good routine for me. By the time like 8 p.m. comes, I don't go on my phone or like check social media. Like I don't go on Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. I will just like text anyone back if I need to do that. But I try not to have any screen time and like definitely not go on socials so that my mind can start like resting. I'll plan the day. I'll write in my five minute journal. There's a part for the morning and then a part for the evening. So at night you write down like three amazing things that happened in the day and then things that could make the day better. So I need to do that and then I'll probably read a little bit and then be asleep by around nine. That's kind of been my like current night routine and I've really just been loving both of my routines lately and just like waking up early I'm probably gonna start posting my vlogs on Sunday, Tuesday, or Thursday. Just look out for the vlogs on those days because maybe one week I'll only do one vlog or three or two, I don't really know. So I just wanna post on those days. Definitely not saying that it's like super set just in case like something comes up. But I'm gonna go to bed, so I love you guys so much. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, put on my post notifications, and I will see you all in the next vlog. Good night.